Today, we are gonna build a full lead magnet funnel, all the automations, and making the funnel live in less than 15 minutes using FG Funnels. So stay tuned and build along with us. To make this authentic as possible, we are gonna set a timer starting now, and we are gonna start rocking and rolling, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do when I go into FG Funnels, I am gonna go into the Funnel Builder. I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side, I'm gonna hit Sites, I'm gonna to go to Funnels, and as you can see, I already have my templates that FG Funnels provides, and I'm gonna use the Geographic Funnel Template. All right, now, what it does ask us to do is to create a copy, so that, let me go ahead and do that. So, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit New Funnel, I'm gonna name this funnel Lead Magnet 15 Minutes, all right, and I'm gonna hit Create Funnel. Now, because I wanna use the pages inside Geometric, because again, these are the templates provided, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the Geometric template, and since I'm gonna do a lead magnet, I'm gonna grab the squeeze page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the squeeze page, I'm gonna hit Clone Funnel, and it's gonna ask me where I'm gonna send it to. Now, because this is already, I have access to multiple accounts, I'm gonna go ahead and, beautiful, put it in here, and I'm gonna select my lead magnet, 15 minutes that I created, and I'm gonna add this funnel step. I also wanna do a thank you page, and since I already have the template available, I don't wanna recreate a page from scratch, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the order confirmation page. I'm gonna click on the order confirmation, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click funnel, and clone funnel, and then go into our 15 minutes, and add that funnel step. Great, now that I have that inside my funnel, and best way to check is go to funnels, go to my lead magnet, and notice that I have the squeeze page, and the order confirmation. I'm gonna go first to my squeeze page because I really don't like that name. And I'm gonna title my, um, my lead magnet as my lead, uh, my Facebook ad templates. And I'm gonna give them away for free. Facebook ad templates. All right, and I'm, obviously it's gonna be, this is a little rush, so we are not gonna have all the crazy assets, but what I am gonna do is try to create as much as I possibly can on the fly, just to show you how quickly this thing can go. All right, so here we go. And I'm just gonna put FB in front of it and go ahead and update step. Now, I'm also gonna do the clone. Uh, I'm also gonna do the order confirmation page. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to uh, Facebook templates. Thank you and just take this to FBTY, just to make it super simple. All right, now that that's set, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go inside the template. I'm gonna go into the edit, edit page. Let's see, 12 minutes and 14 seconds. I don't know, this might be a little tight. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab my headline. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of taste it, which is tired of wasting time and money on Facebook ads. And then I'm gonna generate a little interest by giving them my incredible wording here. And as you can see, I can't use this template here and I'm gonna give it the ugliest possible image I could have created in, uh, in Canva. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Canva. I downloaded a little this awful picture. Now notice that the background really doesn't match so I can't use this background. So what I'm gonna do is just control it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And there you go. Now, I don't really like it here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another row. I'm gonna add a two column row right underneath that section. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna put it on the left side. I'm gonna bring my headline up. Oh, there we go. Boom, that's my first part. And then I'm gonna bring my form up. Now notice I'm not focusing too much on anything else. And I'm gonna come back over here. And then I want to change this headline here. I'm gonna paste that and I'm just gonna go ahead and change the brand name down here. And obviously terms and conditions we're not gonna link. And then we're gonna put in um, DVM Media, okay? And we're all set there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is for SEO metadata, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this to Facebook ad templates. Let's make sure my spelling, because I'm a terrible speller. Grab my free templates. All right. And come over here, update metadata. 
Oop, I want to add a nice better image. So I'm going to grab the image and I'm going to grab my awful template right there. <laughs> Just to get it going, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then I'm going to click on the form because I want to make sure it goes to the next step, which is going to be the thank you. Hit save again. And congratulations, I've quickly got that. If I want to just make this a little bit smaller, beautiful. Now we're ready to rock and roll, and I can always go back and adjust the margin, the margin and, the, and the padding, and I'm good to go there. Nine minutes, let's see if we can do this. Come back out, and I'm gonna go back into the thank you page. And now all I'm gonna do is eliminate all the things I don't want, because this is not a product. I'm gonna keep that, and then I'm just gonna start deleting the things I don't need. Oh, that's that one. Everything here is gonna go bye-bye. And I'm just eliminating all the things I don't need. Oh, I might have gone too far on that one. Nope, I actually did exactly what I wanted. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and change this down here to BMV Media. Okay, come back up. Your templates are on the way. Congrats, your templates. Oh, make sure you spell right. Or your congratulations. Congrats, your templates are on. The way I might not make the times just because I spell horribly bad and then I could always go back and fix the buttons but right now as long as this is good to go and I'm gonna go quickly to my SEO metadata again control a get rid of all that Facebook FB templates and then this is gonna be thank you okay again the image let's just grab that same image update the metadata go ahead and hit save Beautiful, come back out of here. Let's go ahead and make this funnel live. I already have a, a domain downloaded into this area. I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna go into my rapid active media and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. This is now live. Now I'm gonna go to all my automations and I have a lead magnet folder that I created already. I'm gonna create a new workflow. I'm gonna start from scratch. All right, and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna label it lead magnet Facebook templates. Okay, and I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna be on the form submitted. Now I can't remember which the name of the form is, so let me quickly duplicate that. But while I'm doing that, let's go to form submitted, all filters, form is, I believe it's a geographic squeeze page form, that one right there actually. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna give it a tag. Add a contact tag, select the contact tag, which is gonna be a lead magnet. This is the way I at least like naming conventions. As you can see, the spelling is definitely not my strong suit. <laughs> and I'm gonna put FB templates, add the new tag, hit save action. I'm gonna then assign to a user because I wanna include a signature. So I have myself assigned here already. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save action. Then I'm also going to send an email to actually deliver the template. So because I assigned a user, I can use uh, the user short code. So I'm gonna come over here, user email. The subject is gonna be, here are your templates. Okay. Again, the spelling folks, I am so sorry. <laughs> here are your FB templates. Okay, and then from here, custom values, I wanna do, actually I have a little bit written already. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna copy my standard delivery email. I'm gonna paste that, that right in there. And I'm just gonna change the wording to Facebook ad templates. Okay, I'm gonna grab your a guide here, or grab your templates I should say. Let's go ahead and change that link. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put in my link here today. So the link to this file, gonna grab it from Google Drive, copy the link, put it in there. And instead of saying grab your guide, I'm gonna do Facebook 
adds templates. Grab your, or just grab your templates, probably grab your templates. All right, and then I'm not gonna use a link up. Oh, just try that again, paste my link. And it's there sharing at the, at the end, I'm just gonna put copy. All right, where it says equal, I'm just gonna put equal copy. It just so then it makes a copy versus letting him do that. Boom, it says, hey, first name, it's here. Thanks for requesting access to the handy dandy Facebook ad templates. Again, you can change it to whatever language you would like. Your time sensitive download link is here. Grab your templates. Uh, I love to hear how well it works for you. Tag me on social media, reply back and let me know. And then it's got my user signature because I assigned a user, I can use a user signature. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. Now, a couple things. One, I didn't like the way that form, I wanted to change the bottom of that form there. So by the way, this is now officially live. I'm gonna go down back to my sites. I'm gonna to go to my lead magnet 15 minutes. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to that geometric form. I wanna, I don't wanna use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it. All right, and I'm gonna actually name it Facebook ads template. All right, and I'm gonna put it into this location. Okay, copy that. And I'm gonna go back to my sites because I wanna make sure I, I, I put the right one. Well, actually, before I do that, I wanna to go to that actual form and I wanna change, instead of want access now, I wanna have it grab, whoop, let's click on that button again. I'm actually in that form I just copied. I'm gonna erase this, grab my templates. Okay, click that, beautiful, hit save form. I'm gonna go back to my sites, go to funnels, go to that 15 minute funnel. Let's go back to the funnel inside here. Let's go ahead and edit uh, in here. Instead of the, this form, I'm gonna do my, where is it? Facebook ads template, boom, right here. Everything's good. I like the way this all looks. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now I gotta go back because I changed the form. I gotta change my automation because I just changed my form. And see, this is even with the mistake, folks. So I just wanted to let you know how quickly you can get this up and going. And then I can come into my lead magnet. I was like, oh, well, you know, I used the wrong form, no problem. Let me come back over here, switch to the right form, hit save, hit save again. And now I have it all set. Now, if I wanted to add additional automations because we got three minutes left, what I can do is I can put a little note on a customer's file that says uh, downloaded Facebook ads templates. Just like this. And again, if it wasn't for the spelling errors, this would probably be under like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, so you're all set. And, and then again, if I wanted to add it to the nurture sequence, I could, I can just add it. From here, I can add it to another workflow, but before anything else, let's go ahead and test this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my site. I'm gonna go to my 15 minute funnel. Remember this is live. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it work. Facebook ad templates, everything looks decently good. I'm gonna put in my name. I'm gonna put in my burner address so I can just get it going. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my templates. It should take me to the next page. Congratulations, your, your templates are on the way. Now I can even go back and again, I can put an email in here or I can do a newsletter, um, you know, where they click on that and they get access to another funnel. I mean, there's a lot, or even a course, and uh, we still got two minutes to spare. So let's go back and let's see if the automation fired. So I can just go to my automation, I can go to my lead magnet, and as you can see, it looks like my automation fired. Let's go through the process, it added a note, it sent an email, and it was delivered and opened, because I have it open on the left-hand side and we're ready to rock and roll. We hope you enjoyed that video. It took a little bit less than 15 minutes. I think we ended around like the 12 minute mark and we kind of went back and we fixed a few things and kind of had a little bit of a discussion. But if this is something that interests you and you really enjoy the funnel building process like we just showed you and we saw how quick it is using one of the templates that's provided, I recommend booking a demo call below and getting yourself FG Funnels. And we'll see you on the other side.